Ben Wellendorf with the Carroll Tigers joining us here today after a 4-1 victory in the uh, opening round of the uh, Carroll invite as they defeat Hampton Dumont. Ben, good performance for your ball club. Defense looked really solid today. Uh, talk about the early part of this game and, and how you guys set the tempo with that defense and pitching. I think throughout the game we only had one error, and that might have been like a throw down to the or from catcher to second base. So I thought we did really well. And getting like new players, new positions. I know Mason's playing second, I'm playing short. It's good to like, get a good defensive game, and I think our defense set up a tempo for us to play a good game, knowing also this team we were playing is undefeated, we had to play well. I was going to say, you guys got some guys in new places, but able to turn a double play uh, to end the game here today. Yeah. Take us through that play as you saw it developing. Well, I knew it was one out, run runs first. I was thinking in my head, this would be a perfect way to end the game, get a double play with Mallard, but... When the ball came to me, I knew right away I was going. it was a hard-hit ball, so I had some time. So I knew I got the flip down, and usually that flip's the hardest part if you're going to dart or flip it. And then Mallard turned a really good play and it ended the game perfectly. Is this the best defensive performance you guys have had this year? I think so. With Peter on the mound, we have all our almost all our seniors, or I guess all our seniors out there, and that's really good for us when we have a good defensive mode. Peter threw well today. Talk about what you saw from him out there at the shortstop position. Peter threw, he was doing really well out there, and I saw that he was getting, as long as he getting strikes, that's what we're worried about. He, if they hit the ball, I think our defense can handle that. But he was throwing strikes, he was getting strikeouts, and I thought he did really well out there. Offensively, a perfect day for you at the plate. Uh, seeing the ball well today, how'd they try to pitch it? Uh, pitcher was throwing different type of junk, and for, I know first that bat, I went first pitch, and I've never first pitch hitter, so that was different for me. I went opposite field, which I'm never that either. But that second at bat I had, I, I don't really remember, but I knew he was throwing like a knuckleball and a curveball, and I wasn't really used to that. But other than that, he was throwing them in the strike zone. It wasn't uh, fast at speed, so it was pretty easy to hit. How tough was it on that knuckleball? Were you able to read it pretty well? No, when it came out, I was almost too shocked. It wasn't that he threw a good one. I was just shocked that someone threw a knuckleball. So I, it kind of froze me, and luckily it came out to be a ball. But it was close around there. That was the only knuckleball he threw to me. You got either Dennison, Schleswig, or Logan coming up next. Uh, do you know much about either one of these teams right now? We lost to Dennison one of our first games, yep. so hopefully we get a rematch with them. I don't know much about Logan Magnolia, but I know Dennison's pretty well, and it'll be a good game to play if we have to go up against them. What will this win mean for this team? Kind of been struggling. Peter talked about that, struggling a little bit early, early this year. Yeah, I, our team hasn't been doing too well, but I know last year at the same exact spot we had one uh, – we, we had one more win than this before, and we want, came up winning the tournament. So I know if we get this win, it could possibly be another uh, re, or another thing of the last year's tournament. Hopefully we do just like it. Well, I tell you what, Ben, appreciate you joining us. Thanks today, and uh, Thank best you. luck coming up tonight. Thank you.